Hey, Dilly. What do you think of the new loft edition? Look what we did, guys. Now, Mark just got back from the hardware store with some bolts so that we can actually bolt those through the entire post. So the, the bolt will come in this side, come out the other side, and then we will tighten it up and we're gonna have a second edition of the loft. Billy, what do you think? Big fatty, it's for all you guys. So yeah, you guys saw where we almost had Dilly. thought goats would be that hungry. Yeah, he went and got all that, so I uh, forgot to film us putting that up. You guys see this above me? I literally had to put the pitchfork, like, with the board in between the forks and used it to push it up and get it in place. Because that's how we roll on this one. <laughs> I think we're probably going to have to get another ladder if we're going to keep doing additions like this, but I think this is probably one of the last dishes we're going to do with our loft. We we're talking about building um, a staircase into it, like over there. That's going to be probably next year. That won't be this year. Baby steps. I keep telling myself to pace ourselves, but you know, when we get going, we just, we get going. <laughs> Okay, now shimmy up that thing and do it without a flatter. Let's <laughs> see some acrobatics. just because we've done this more than once or twice in our lifetime so far on this barn but it seems like it's going a lot easier this time I say that I'm gonna so I don't run into anything else I will say it was smoother but we did have to take this out of the hole after we put it in there and if anybody's ever lifted a six by six by 14 with brute strength out of money and, yes, it was so muddy. We have such a high water table. This thing was just soaking. So by the time we got to the bottom to actually like lift it, it slipped and then it tried to kill me and it tried to kill him. It did a teeter totter on his shoulder, tried to take out my thigh and it was a, we're just having a really good time with it today. This is the easy stuff compared to digging the hole and setting the, and setting the post. Amen. to using um, hand-driven post hole diggers, it hit concrete. So backstory, back when we first started to do this, we realized one or two of these posts. We the hard way. Yeah, we always learn the hard way, I swear, but that I guess that's just the best way that we learn. I don't even know if you'd say we learn. <laughs> we just adapt to our own mistakes. But I think we originally had a post here and dug it out, and I didn't really think about it until we were clearing it out. I'm like, Mark, there's an indentation here isn't this where that post was because we, we were off with measurements but we'd already set a post so we actually dug the post out busted the concrete enough to get the post out well concrete's still in that hole and who would have thought years later that we were going to be using this exact location for the next hole for the the loft so now we have a spud bar we're gonna have to just go at it this way Oh my gosh, because look guys, look, you can you can see it. You guys can see it. Look at that. Concrete. Uh, if you don't want to dedicate all of your free time to correcting your own mistakes, don't homestead. There's a good piece in there. Concrete. Wasn't there? Concrete. Concrete. <laughs> Babe, we could line our beds with this stuff, like our garden beds. <laughs> Reduce, reuse, recycle. 
Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, I can't. Ugh, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Here, you got both hands on it now. Yeah, but still. Just don't, don't make a hernia, man. Turn out. Oh, there it is. Ready? It's like birthing a child. <sighs> oh my God. It's perfectly flat though. You can tell where we had the yeah. post, the original post against it, because it is so flat. Boy. <laughs> My hole just increased in size by about Are you okay? Half hey, there's a towel over here. Hold on. Yeah. Grab you a towel. I don't know what it's been wiped off on, but I don't think you care at this point either. Yep. Ah. Oh. Good job, babe. So, out in our neck of the woods, we have a bunch of rocks, which is why we keep a spud bar handy. Yeah, but we didn't expect it's to not hit common concrete. To hit big post holes and hit rocks here rocks but big ones we can't big complain rocks. because we made these rocks in this yeah. hole so just the fact that if only we could go back 10 years to yeah. our past solves and say hey don't, don't do that but we'll, well we work around it one way or another you're still hitting so yeah. much i bet it's a square shape all the way down yeah oh jesus all right we have one more Large chunk. <laughs> I think I got it loose enough with the muscle digger. Oh. Yep. Another boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, twins. Uh, so yeah, you could like Ashley said, you can see where the flat yeah, side. Yeah, like if I flip this side over, like look how that's flat where that the is. Post road against it. Yeah. I think honestly, we are probably. About We're almost the close sides. to being done though. Yeah. A little more cleaning out, and we should be able to try our post out. Hopefully. Yeah. Digging post holes too. Oh my god, this will be so terrible if we get another 14 footer in here, and it's not. Yeah. It's so heavy to lift vertical. It's in the right place. Yeah. Maybe we'll find out. I wonder they suck to lift. They're 160 pounds. Oh my god. Are you okay? Yeah. Question of truth. Is it in the right spot? With our luck, it won't be. Just saying. Right there. Right there. Way off. Gotta go. There. Okay. So we got some room to wiggle. A little bit. I mean, it's not even close. I mean, that ain't even close. What were we looking at? That's five inches off. Oh no. Okay, so we stopped filming because bad words. We're not being the best with our language. So you guys can see how much bigger the hole got. So this is where the hole was. It was back here. You can see the whole pole moved all the way up. It's just one of those things. I don't know what it was. The best that we can think is that because, like we had said before, we had placed a post here, oh my gosh, almost 10 years ago, had to pull it up and had set it with concrete. And you guys saw the concrete chunks that we were pulling out of there. So I mean, it's really not that surprising. I think that when the auger bit hit it, it pulled the auger down into that hole, which was wrong to begin with. So it made this hole wrong. So then we had to dig it out. Luckily, we did not have to remove the post out like the last time. We were able to shimmy it to the side and get the small post hole diggers and just chip away at it here. But now, I mean, it's level, 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 and just barely touching that line. We're gonna sell that auger, but I think <laughs> we are uh, we're a little worse for wear after this one, so. Um, that concrete really threw us off hitting that with the... Yeah, I, I really almost can't blame the auger bit. I really think it's because we hit that hole because guys you saw the flat sides i bet that auger bit just hit that and and swam down into it 
And that's why we had to pull it the first time, because it was off yeah. by four or five in the first point. And we're like, oh, well, screw it. We don't, we're not ready for this anyways. And we ended up using that post right there. This support beam, we ended up using it there. So, yeah, we stopped filming because we were not being very nice with our language. Not like bad, bad with our language, but like, <laughs> yeah, just a lot of bickering and complaining that <laughs> when you ever been on a homestead or worked on a project that just didn't go their way, that you've invested much of your free time into, can relate to. And we just figured, hey, we're not going to share that kind of negativity with you guys because there's enough negativity in the world. We'll only give you the funny, hilarious parts after we've recovered. <laughs> Ran out of concrete, huh? Yeah. And you Always. A whole much bigger than square. But for these posts, it's critical they're square because yeah. they line up with other. All nice and secure, too. I cannot wait for this one to be done. Seriously. This is the last big post we're working on. Thank God. Hopefully, ever. <laughs> well, in here it will be. Yeah, for now. Everything still look good and square? Yeah, everything looks square. Yeah. Does it pass your inspection? It does. Then you guys can see we've got the dark mark right there. I knock on wood. This should be the hardest part of this project. Yeah, because everything squares off of these posts. Yeah. So once you get these square, everything else comes together. But it's like Mark said, the reason we're being so specific on how precise these are, like measurement wise off the, it's to, it's going to be weight bearing. Yeah, it's it load bearing. Yeah. So yeah. And if they're off just a little bit, I mean, it, it does shift the way that the weight sits or how the support sits and it's going to make the structure of our barn actually a lot more sound. I mean, not that I'm tempting mother nature with a tornado, but basically we're building a barn. I don't know. I, it, it really will make the whole of the barn a lot more sound. Just in case of tornado or something, I guess. Okay, I'm going to call this episode just because there's been a lot in it so far. And I think this is going to have to be um, a few parts to the build. But at least we've got the two main support posts put in here in the right spot. Um, it took a lot more work than we thought it was going to, guys. I really wish that we were in a position where we could just like call in contractors and be like, hey, do this for us, but we are not. We're not in that position. Yeah, and we'll go over the systems that we're gonna use in the next episode, because quite frankly, like I'm exhausted and I'm really glad that just these two posts are done. <laughs> I'm just glad that they're done. So thank you guys so much for being here with us. If you saw anything that we did wrong, which there was a lot. I'm sure they'll, someone will point out safety issues with me being close to the auger, though I have no loose clothing or anything like that. No down hair, no open toed shoes. But this is what we're doing here today, guys. This is what we've got going on. I didn't expect to start this project just yet. I really didn't. He just yeah. decided we had that truck, let's get the lumber, and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, the lumber's in the middle of the floor and we really so shouldn't stay in the middle of the floor. Barn, so yeah. He's good about jump starting all of those projects that have been kind of on the back burner for a long time, but it's not on the back burner anymore. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here. If you found yourself enjoying our lunacy, idiocy, hilarity, welcome to the comedy barn that is Mulberry Branch Farm. <laughs> make sure you let us know by dropping us a comment, leaving us a like and subscribing. But if you subscribe, make sure that you ring the bell so that you get notifications the next time we're almost killing ourselves with projects. But until next time, guys, make sure you're staying healthy out there and being kind to one another. Bye.